Hello everyone. So today we are working on May 2022 and I've already done the fire signs, the earth signs, and now we're going to do the air signs. So if you are Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, then this is going to connect more to you, but make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising. So all three of those videos, plus the general May reading, and I think you're gonna get a lot more information, okay? So this is actually obsidian, and obsidian is really great for doing any type of shadow work or uh, forcing ourselves to kind of look, essentially, in the mirror. So that might resonate to all the air signs for the month of May. So we are in Taurus season, and if you're underneath my email list, then um, I sent a link out to everyone that you can learn a little bit more about basically the next month, month and a half, maybe even two months. And the other thing we want to know about eclipse season is like, that starts on the 30th, but what's going to happen is it affects us over the next six months. So also if you want to join, hi Jay. Uh, also, if you want to join the new moon ritual and healing that I'm doing on the 29th, that's going to be all about these things that are coming up to the surface. So I suggest that the air signs in particular would benefit more from that. Okay, um, so you can either join through by starting as a beginner level and join in on our membership. You'll get an invite to the private Facebook group or you can just hop into the ritual for $11.11, .11, however way you choose, okay? So that seems important right away. So really connect to uh, writing this month. That feels really important. I'm getting more visualization, um, more entertainment, more um, healing work. So again, when I was talking about shadow work, this is more about being open to aspects of yourself that maybe aren't the prettiest and um, not being afraid to do that. So what we want to do when we do things like that is create more um, room for us to grow energy wise. So for instance, Reiki treatments are really great when we're going through shadow work because somebody else is helping you let go of the negativity and you can still become aware of it at the same time, right? So we need support around this time as well. Um, if you want to join my email list, by the way, you just go to my link tree and you'll see um, free Theta Healing video. So when you get the free Theta Healing video, then you'll get all my emails as well. Okay. And the other thing, if you are catching me live and you have a question or you'd like a message, I'll give that to you as well. So I'm also getting, um, there might be someone who's watching that's also an earth sign. So again, we want to know what our signs are so we can see how we might have air and earth together. And the reason why that's probably coming up as well is because when we're in Taurus season for basically most of May, um, it's really important to identify with material things, especially where starting off basically May on April 30th, it's all about money, love, and romance. So if you can start connecting to finances and work as well, that's going to be helpful for you. So if you can put your time and energy into work and anything that's coming up for you that you need to let go of around work, again, money related, it feels like. I think it's going to be easier to move forward with the emotions, with your relationships, things like that. Yes, I'm an earth sign. Okay, I kind of figured that because it seemed like you were the one um, watching because you said hello. So then I'm also going to kind of connect. This is a wedding card here. Um, and so weddings typically are reuniting with someone who... Um, who's still kind of from the past. So for instance, when I get married um, in June, it's like I'm reuniting with um, a past lover, which is interesting. It's not true. I've been with the person the whole time, but in a way, it's like we're meeting up for the first time um, in a different way, I guess. But it really feels like that's what's coming up is you might find um, there's more love in your life as well. So that's really positive. Again, this energy is going to be lasting for about six months. So I will be talking a little bit more about this new moon solar eclipse as well. And as I said, you guys can get that in the um, email that I just sent out. So if you aren't on my email list, um, then you might want to get on that. And I'll keep talking a little bit more about 
the seasons and things that we're experiencing right now if you're interested in that okay so write in the comments as well what sign are you i'd love to hear and also let me know do you like my black obsidian mirror this will also be underneath youtube so please make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and underneath monthly astrological sign readings you have to click playlist you'll be able to see these and as i continue to grow my channel I'll do more individual signs, but for now, this is what I was called to for the month of May. So we'll talk to you later.